Right, I'm here with our winner for the Celsius post-fight interview, the winner, Bubba Badman Jenkins. Bubba, it was a lot like the first fight, but in reverse. Pressure and cage wrestling, and this time you on top. As a former Division I national champion wrestler, did you want to prove the point in this fight that you are the better mixed martial arts wrestler as well? Glory to you, Father. Thank you for the victory. You know I gotta speak to God before I speak to man, so excuse me while we have our conversation. But uh, yeah, man, you're right. He says something where he lives rent-free in my head. We know ain't nothing free. He lived in my head, but I made him pay that rent tonight. I'm the landlord up there. As an NCAA champion, I had to show the world that the wrestling is still exists in this sport, but I'm a bad man. I do what bad men do. A couple of really interesting scenarios in this fight that sometimes can break a fighter's focus. The knee with the stoppage, replay showed that was not an illegal knee. The eye poke with the replay showed that was not necessarily a finger in the eye. How did you maintain your focus through what you know were uncomfortable situations at least? I'm not gonna beat a dead horse. I beat Wade tonight. I felt there were some things that were going on in the cage. I felt like I could have had a quick six with that knee to the sternum. It definitely hurt him and it definitely stopped the fight. So, you know, I'm out three points, an extra three points. But, you know, tonight I just kept on the pace. I did what Dewey said. I stayed focused. Yeah, I had a little fun. I showed my little, my little bad manisms, my little Bubba J-isms. But for the most part, man, we just try to get the victory. I wanted to knock out, but we give the fans what they want. They let us smile. They let a kid. Bad man tings. Three points in the featherweight division. Bubba Badman Jenkins.